Penelope Rose, Rose, cask finish. We're gonna review this, okay? So I typically used to hate on bottles that were finished in something weird like a wine barrel or in this case, Rose uh, cask, but I found a few that I like. So I'm either gonna love this or probably be, be disappointed. But anyway, shout out to my buddy, Brett Jones. Um, he's in Arkansas and he hooked me up with a good little uh, unboxing today. So he got me this, another toasted, which I can find that here. This one, not so much. Um, I've, I've seen this on shelves here, but it's a little bit more rare. Never seen this one. So very appreciative of that. We're gonna get into those reviews as well. And Caribou Crossing, this looks like a store pick. Hell yeah. So. Uh, and never had this one. So we'll get into these the, over the next couple of days, but let's focus today on the rosé cast finish. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate you, buddy. And um, this is a 94 proof batch number five and a four-year age statement. I believe this is uh, an MGP uh, three different blends uh, or three different blends of three different things, uh, four or five and five year. So Let's get into it, see what we've got. Again, I love Penelope. The bottling is just gorgeous on this stuff. Um, it just fits my eye, okay? All right, so we're gonna fresh crack this bad boy. I think. That's an interesting, interesting looking cork, quote unquote. All right, let's see what we've got here. Color about medium, good looking color. A little on the lighter side. Beautiful, let's go in. Ooh, hello. I've been wanting to try this one, but this smell is fantastic. Super sweet. Smells like candy. Um, definitely get some cinnamon in there. Cinnamon red hot candy. Caramel, little oak. I've never had a rosé, by the way. My wife drinks it all the time. But you know what this really smells like? And I still eat these because I've got two little kids like a fruit roll-up, fruit roll-up, fruit, kind of like the fruit bars from Costco as well, but fruit roll-up, interesting. Cheers, guys. I'm giving that look. I don't know what rosé tastes like. But that was a damn good first impression. Go back in. Fruit roll up. Okay. This one is good. This is getting a yep. Bomb. Wow. I was not expecting this at all. Kind of get that fruit roll up cinnamon, um, a little bit lighter on the, on the mouth feel, but the finish you can tell is just lingering pretty long. Um, but it's sort of dissipating. So long kind of short, short kind of long finish, if that makes sense. Vanilla is coming through on the taste as well. So it's just rounding out this really sweet, balanced, so good. Sweet, balanced fruit roll up with caramel vanilla. Does that sound appetizing? Cause you know, sign me up all day for that. Okay, I'm gonna go one more. Let's focus on the finish. Yeah, finish long and sweet. A little bit of rye spice kind of comes through there. I don't know what the percentage mash bill on this. I think, I think it's seven percent rye. Um, so not overly high rye rye bill, but 
a little rice spice coming through, a little peppery. Again, rounded out by just a very sweet, smooth finish. Sorry, I used the word smooth. I know a lot of you guys hate that. Um, this is good stuff. Penelope has not disappointed. Even the four grain, which I didn't like so much because it didn't have all the depth, was still very highly drinkable, very, very good. Um, Penelope Rose cast finish, 92 out of 100, another monster score. If I'm going lighter on the proof, so this 94, I want this all day long. This is fantastic. Check it out. Um, I think you can find this in a lot of places. So 92 out of 100, monster score. Penelope, thank you. You guys never, ever disappoint. That's a bourbon review.